Classically and watching this job video today, we will make this kind of pixelated portal in Unreal Engine 5. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So what I'll do, this will be the same process like you make any portal, but we have to make it pixelated. That's a method you can make anything pixelated inside material. So let's do it. So I'll go for material M and I'll take radial. Uh, we can call it. Let's call it frame. And let's take the uh, radio and then I'll make this translate and lit sign. And if I preview, this is how it looks. We can make it a little sharper, maybe like 50. And then I'll copy and paste this. And then I will invert this. So it will look like this and then multiply these together. This is how it will look and I will make this one a little smaller, maybe 0.4. 0.5 is default value. Okay. So now you have this ring and we want to make it pixelated, but you can do, let's saturate it first. What you can do, multiply and then you have to take the flow and then you have to take the divide and put the same value in multiply and the divide like if i make a parameter connect on both and if i preview and now let's say i want to use four so it will be like it will give you these rings kind of thing then you can increase like this cool you have to make it pixelated so you can also multiply it with a noise texture first so if you have a noise texture any noise texture you have and let's say you want to pixelate it you, what you can do and there's one more thing you can do uh, let's uh, do that so if instead of uh, let's search it instead of using it here you can use it on the uvs so if i use this thing here take the texture coordinate and then do the same thing but now feed it here in the UVs and let's preview this one okay now this is pixelated so these are the two things you can do and now we can increase it like 30 or like 40 50 and it will be like pixelated maybe 40 it depends how you want it so you can use it so let's say you're using this and and also i want to use it here also so this will be our gradient and then so let's label it now i want to use, like this is 30 and if i decrease it like 10 it will be like this so let's make the parameter for both so for this this is actually making it pixelated so i will call it pix and this is uh, giving you the layers. So let's call it layer for the for now. We will decide how we can use it. Then I'll use the particle color. Connect this directly. And this will I will use for opacity. And this is how it looks. Cool. We don't need this. And let's save it. And now I will take a Niagara. Take this. Fountain and a spot of let's make it a little darker. I'll take this again, it's not working. Okay, now it's working. So, first thing I want just one particle, so I'll take the burst, it will spawn funds and no velocity at all and that's it and the size maybe like 200 this is and now we can just use this material here and i'll make the life infinite and then i'll use this and with the dynamic parameter let's make the uh, like 
20 and 20 for now and i don't want this uh, rotation so i will just turn this off and this is how it looks now we can see how things changing so i want like this much of pixelated maybe 25 and now this is giving me a layer like this so i want like this much layers and now we can make it like any color you want like green so you can see that layer is giving me that thing this is bright part and this is dark part this layer thing this is now five but if you increase it it's a smooth if you decrease it it's giving that layer thing okay so five now i want to scale it uh i don't want round so i'll take non-uniform 200 and 200 and now you can increase height like this and i will also use custom camera custom alignment and custom camera facing vector and i'll take this align to mesh orientation and now it's aligned like this so instead of this i will stretch it on x for as that cool and now what you can do actually you can spawn like multiple particles every 10 and in here in the position uh, this is the x position okay so this is x position so i'll just break it and then i'll just take the aggregation index here and then if i increase the value this will go like this and i want to scale it also say a uh, same way so i'll just take the size and it has a curve so we can just take the execution index here and it will scale like this and same uh, i don't want that much of offset i will reduce just how much thickness you want and then you want also to make it darker over uh, or with the size so i'll do the same thing color make this floor and make this again a uh, curve and here execution index i want uh invert of this i will use this curve okay and i guess i will make this like this cool and i don't think i want to make it zero so i would make it this much only cool and we can change this pixelation anytime you want okay so let me try for that then i want to add something here and you can also make it single sided so when you rotate it it will not visible from the back side like this okay and let's make the size maybe yeah cool you can put some black thing at the background okay so next layer i'll just duplicate my ring and let me say about and what i'll change in this one these parameter i want i just actually uh, press d i'll take the one texture that is called aura i have then vector to radial and this texture this is how it looks and when i put this uvs it will be let it compile actually it will be like this and it's power also okay so now we can adjust the tiling i'll take the actually append vector and i'll adjust the tiling x and y so in my dynamic parameter we have two parameters so i'll just use both x and y for tile 
So we have this and we want again for the pixelation. So we use this UV. I don't need uh, this. So we can just directly uh, connect this here. And when you are using this texture coordinate here, what you can do, or you can just copy and paste this and then use this UV directly. And then this is your pixelation, right? And then this texture should multiply with the radial. So I'll delete this radial and we just need this. So I will multiply this and this. And then we, we let's delete this for now. So basically, if I preview this, let's put some values here. So pixelation maybe 40. Layer may be 40 for now and tiling is one and one and let's let it preview now. So this is how it looks. We will adjust that thing later. But actually what I want, let me preview this. So we have this radial and I will use the sign. So it will be like a ring. Let's use two. Okay, and I'll use the power again and multiply. So it will be like this. Okay, let's use it and check if it works, then we will change. So we have, uh, we don't have a layer thing. So we can just reset this. We have tiling and pixelation. Let's save it and I'll browse this in my portal. I'll duplicate this. And now I just want one particle and i don't need this offset and i don't need size and i don't need this color so we have just this one particle so i will browse this and just use this material here and with the dynamic parameter we have tiling which should be one and one and then we have the if i make this like full resolution there's a seam here that you can avoid by using new flavor and I'll save it again and now that same gone but we can now decrease this and uh, first let me see how much tiling I want maybe this much now I can reduce this maybe this thing is not making it a pixel that uh, the way it should be so what i'll do instead of using this thing here let me try one more thing i'll just connect this here and i'll move this here basically when you use vector to radial and you want to feed a texture coordinate you have to actually add minus 0.5 or subtract 0.5 this is the way if you want to use texture coordinate with this so we will keep this but instead of this i'll connect this here and this here and let me check if this work fine now now it seems like working fine one more element i need to add here i will add a parameter power to just dissolve so we have a parameter so i'll call it dissolve and one more thing I should add, I, I want to pan it. I want to rotate it because if I rotate it here, this is not round shape, so it will look weird. So I'll just add a pan. And I want to add like 0.5 or something. Yeah, it's not thing. So let me save now. So it's saved. Now we can come here and refresh. I'll make this do. One. We can increase the pixelation like this much. And we can. So this is pixelating. And we can increase also alpha here.
and this is inside it so i want to move it here and i'll make this more green and opaque i guess also i'll make shortening one so it should be above like this and something i will change in this one let's make the size a little smaller and Be paste and I'll make the shorting too. And in this one, I'll make the color and then reduce paste. And in this first layer, I can increase the particle. So this is how you can make and I think I'll make this black one little bigger, maybe eight and nine and that's right. So this is we have a uh, pixelated portal 